You might remember back when I went to Computex, I saw that Elgato were making Stream Deck Plus a little modular. Well, it's here. I have one of the parts right now. The Stream Deck Plus is such a good device that can really do so much for content creators and streamers, but it has so much wasted space on the back. So what if you combined Wave XLR with the Stream Deck Plus, or even created a USB hub on the back of this? Okay, so I have XLR dock for Stream Deck Plus here. Let's open it up and then we'll see how it mounts into this. Okay, so we've got a quick start guide, which is very helpful because it'll show us how to mount everything. And then if you've never used Wave XLR before, it'll show you what the ports do. Oh, it's very lightweight. Nice, this literally weighs nothing. So this is the module here. And basically it'll slot into the USB-C port that is on the back of Stream Deck Plus. We will be unscrewing it. So we'll take out these screws, remove this portion. And then we're gonna slot this into the back, which is gonna look pretty cool. Okay, so we have removed the back of Stream Deck Plus. So Wave XLR slots in via this USB-C here. So you can see on the back, you've got your XLR input, you've got your headphone input and your USB-C input to power it as well. And then that will go into the USB-C port that is on the back end of this Stream Deck Plus, which is usually the way you would power it. So it's going to sit like this and look like that, which I think looks so smart. Although, look, I'm not a fan of the black and white. I'll get to that soon, but I think first impressions, it sits really nicely. And I like the way it just fills that gap in the back so well. I definitely would rather a black Stream Deck Plus, that's for sure. But let's get this screwed back in. We'll take the same screws that we used before and get them back in. And there we have it. So what's the point of this? For me, it's about making a product more efficient and having less clutter on your desk. I just posted my desk setup tour in my previous video. So definitely go watch that right after you watch this video. But obviously I have quite a big desk in that setup. So for me, it's okay to have a small Wave XLR on there. But I know a lot of you would want more of a minimal setup and have less junk across your table and across your streaming space. And that's where product designs like this come into play because you don't need to be buying a big XLR XLR. When you've got something as small as this that is just as efficient for streams or for content creation. And real quick, as this video is sponsored by Elgato, I do have a commission link down in the description below, which also gives you a discount code. So if you want to buy one of these new products or anything else across Elgato's website, do consider using my link and my discount code. That would be amazing. And thanks again to Elgato for sponsoring this video. Stream Deck Plus with its built-in dials and ability to use Wavelink software on it already gives it a mini XL interface on the front. So having this option to add in the XLR input in the back of it and being able to purchase this separately makes it really convenient. These parts are optional and you can swap and change them as you please. So if you don't want to use the Wave XLR dock, you can actually use the USB hub and give yourself more ports such as USB, USB-C and SD card too. Unfortunately, I don't have this right now, but I think it's one that I will actually buy for myself because I have a feeling when I do my next PC build, it's probably not gonna have enough ports and I think I'm going to need that. So I'd rather this, have ports in the back of it, and then just keep Wave XLR next to me. Although I really do like this too. <laughs> Why can't we have an all-in-one? Why I say I might not have enough ports is because I'm actually planning to do a mini ITX build. So yeah, I don't know, I guess we'll see. So prices, you're looking at $59.99 for the USB hub and $119.99 for the XLR dock, and that's in USD. So for my Aussies, I reckon we're probably looking around, what did I say, $100 for the USB hub, and around the $190 to $200 mark for the XLR dock. That's my estimation. I guess we'll see when they hit retailers. One thing I do hope to see is matching colors of the back. So if you have the white Stream Deck Plus, you can get white modules and same thing with the black version. But to be honest, this setup is kind of changing to all black peripherals. So I think I want to get a black Stream Deck Plus myself. And yeah, at least it'll match. Stream Deck Plus really is such a powerful tool for so many different types of people and different types of content creation. So it's really good to see Elgato make these products a little bit more complete because yeah, I really thought that this was such a wasted space in the back of it. And I'm really happy that they have designed these sorts of modules. It really is just another moment of Elgato's amazing innovation. So after you hit the subscribe button, do let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I'll catch you in my next video.